Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and I'm going to do a reverse marabou tube fly, but kind of in a trout spay coloration. It's a cool technique and a great pattern um, that we recently had some success with on a trout spay trip in Wyoming. And what I'm going to use is one of these Pro Sport Fisher uh, flexi tubes. And what I'm going to do is actually cut this little junction or these two sizes in half right at the joint and trim it so I get two pieces one's thicker one's thinner you could also just buy the the medium and the large tubing and do this too and then I'm going to cut the the smaller of the two and a half so I get one piece like this and that's what we're going to tie on then the larger one we'll use later as a piece of junction tubing for our hook. The larger section slides over those. That'll be our junction tubing for our, our hook later. And we'll end up cutting that in half too and then you can tie two flies out of the same, same piece. So what I'm going to do is get some thread. And I'm not going to use very thick thread here just so I don't build up a lot of uh, bulk. <clears throat> And I'm going to put down a little thread base. I'm going to start this. And you can do all sorts of colors. I'm going to do like a tan and cream. I did olive and cream that looked really good as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some fish hunter marabou. And I've got a piece of tan here. And I'm going to prepare it so I can tie in the marabou to wrap it. And by bringing some of the feather back, I actually peeled a little bit there, it's okay. I'm going to fold it back. So I've got a little tie-in point here. Tie that in. And kind of fold the feather so that most of the fibers go back. I'll wrap that and just keep doing that as you go. Keeping those feathers, fibers kind of palmering back. Wrap that and then tie off. Trim off our stem here. Now I've got a cream piece of marabou that I got do the same thing to the feather with. Tie that in. Now, do the same thing, just a few wraps. That's probably probably good right there <clears throat> tie that off oops there we go trim that stem all right so now we got everything folded back nicely now I'm going to take an EP Thunderstruck brush. This is the three inch. You could choose your colors. Can't remember what this one's called off the top of my head, but it's got copper and gold in it. Which is a nice contrast to these marabous. I'm going to do the same thing with this brush. Fold it. Get all those fibers kind of flowing back. Wrap a couple wraps of that. More like three or four, I guess. And we'll tie that off. Trim off the excess, save it for another fly. 
And the last thing I'm going to do is going to build a nice round ball of ice stub. I'm going to use pearl here. Periodically just tighten that back up. I might even add just a tad bit more. And I'll just go ahead and whip finish. I'm going to whip finish in front of the ball just to kind of hide the thread in there. Go ahead and trim out that thread. Okay, so now's the reverse part of this. We're going to pop that off the needle. I'm going to just kind of fold everything back. The opposite way. Even it out. Come on, there we go. I'll just stick it on the, the needle here. Kind of fold it all back. Like that. That just gives it some more shoulders and a lot more movement in the water. Keeps that profile a little bigger instead of just collapsing. Bring my thread back into the picture here. Wrap on the front end of the tube, the now front end. I'm going to throw in a couple things here. This stuff, it's like magic in the water. I found that out on a steelhead version of this in BC this spring. I'm going to take some of these micro voodoo fibers. We'll tie in four on one side of the hook. I'll just fold this clump over. And the micro voodoo on there. Fold that over, tie it in on the far side. Like that. Just a little added flash. I'm going to tie in three strands of red red flash on each side, same technique. Like that. And <clears throat> I'm just gonna tie in that, tie in a collar of some schloppen. I'm gonna prepare it like I prepared the marabou where I'm gonna fold the fibers back from the tip of the feather, so I've got a little tie-in point. We'll tie that in. And then we'll just do the same thing, fold those fibers back. wrap till we get a nice collar in there and then tie that off there we go trim out the excess tidy that up just a little bit and then I'll do a whip finish And then I'm going to put a little cone head, Pro Sport Fisher cone on there. Trim up some of this loose ends there. <clears throat> so I'll take one of my cone heads. I'm going to use a copper on this fly. Just 
slide that over the, the front. And then here I'm going to just melt that cone in place. And so you kind of have to play with this tubing a while and know how much it's going to melt. That's probably about ideal amount right there, but I might just, to be safe, take off just a hair there. So I don't end up with too fat of a head. It's a little dangerous though, because then if you don't end up with enough plastic to hold it in place, your flies kind of SOL. So I've got that cut. I'm going to hold that there. We'll just flame that plastic. That's about right. Let that harden up just a little bit. And then what I'd like to do, just as it's kind of setting, take it and just kind of slide it onto the needle and open that up. But what you get is a cool tube there that's kind of like part tube fly, part little Kim, or little Kim. And uh, really nice profile in the water. A lot of movement from the marabou, and then it's accentuated by those little voodoo fibers. This is a killer little tube fly that you can mess around with the color combos and, and, and use for trout spay. Now, so I've got that back piece of the tube there. I'll take my, my big piece of tubing we started with, kind of those two diameters, cut that section in half, and then I'll put that over that there. So now when you tie your hook on, you can adjust this piece of tubing so that when your hook is in there, it sits towards the back of the fly and doesn't foul on the marabou. And it's placed in a good hooking hooking spot at the back of the fly. So there we go, a little trout spay reverse marabou. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.